Capsro. Hi, Thick. That's where me and Neves were. Uh, you guys went to E3. Hey, Thick. Hey, yeah, hey. All right, I'm here too. I know, but I was talking to you were there, so I was just like, okay. hey, guess where we went, but he knew. I know, I know where you guys went. E3. And uh, Ubisoft brought us out there. Yep, so this video is sponsored by Ubisoft. Is I, that what that means, though? Is it? it are we I mean, they just brought us out there. But they probably they paid money. Yeah. Either way, we just want to let you guys know. Yeah. yeah. They uh, brought us anyway, out there. Anyway, I got to go to L.A., Thanks yeah, to Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and eat pizza. And we did play some games, so uh, we're going to go over a few of those games, see if they might fit our channel, and uh, see what you think, Abstro. Yeah, I'm curious. You, so you guys, yeah, you guys played Ubisoft's lineup. Yeah, they had some, they had some cool looking games. I'm not I gonna know. lie. And we'll go into a little bit more depth about a few of them. So this is the Division Two, yeah. The Division Two is the first game we're going to go over. I already like the setting more than the first one. It's set in Washington D.C. in the sweltering heat of summer. I love it, <laughs> uh, and it's a one-to-one -one scale of of D.C. Really? Yeah. One-to-one -one scale. One-to-one -one scale. Did they tell us that when we were there? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't listening. Uh, you got four different classes. Okay. I believe there was a sharpshooter. I was a like a survivalist. What were you, Neebs? I was a guy with a gun, and when I hit my special button, I laid a thing down. The nice thing about each of these classes is that you get, like, a special weapon. My weapon was... It's like, like a shotgun. Well, no. My special weapon was like an exploding crossbow. Oh, my um, goodness. Which and mine laid a thing down. That yeah. was your ability, where you laid a thing down. Okay. Right. I was looking at the footage. Somebody flying a drone there? Yes. Yeah. There is somebody that has a drone. Uh, spot enemies. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Again, this is probably focused on teamwork. Yes. Yeah. So, we are going to be bad at it. Right. They said that you really get into the meat of the game after you finish the campaign. So you can complete the campaign with your friends. Yeah. And then you can also start to get into the PvE, PvP, the raids. So when you guys played, or when, Thick, when you played this, is Neebs with you in this game? Yes. yes. Okay, so he's one of your squad mates. Yes, unfortunately. I forget. what. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a virus spread through money, right? That was the first one. That was the plot. Yes. Yeah. It's like someone released a virus in the money. That's right. Okay. And so you're still trying to rebuild. One of the problems I had was the first one. I felt like when you shot somebody, you just th those numbers were way too big. Uh huh. I like it's a little bit more subtle here. Yes. Like that makes me happy. Like uh, they've toned down on the UI. Or the one thing that I like about this is that like when you, when you do go against someone with heavier armor, you can visually see like a weak spot where you can get that person. And, you know, you really have to get those precision like, shots in there like too. The head. The one guy that we faced coming up, uh, he had a uh, head armor. But I think the back of it was kind of open, so you really yeah. had to focus to try to get what really it to the like? back. I don't remember that. I don't expect you to remember a lot of things. What it looked like? He he had a lot of body armor. Well, I guess on. you're gonna see it, right? Yeah, you can it's, just it's see the armor's up. not there. You know, with this one, you're still gonna be able to like mod weapons. Okay. I know that they have brands now with their weapons. So, brands? Yeah. Whatever it is, as your accessory or your weapon. Okay. If you have the same brand. It makes the weapon stronger. Oh, okay. They link up. They link together. They do link. Neebs, did you have fun playing this? Yeah. It, it's, for me, it's fun to play. i um, not sure how we'd make videos on it yet, but uh, it's just as far as playing for fun, definitely. Yeah, I think we can We could probably make some videos on it. Some people would right, like so, to see us interact. So you just, like, smoked those guys. No. That was chemical weapons. Oh. Uh, so that's my ability. That's I'm able to kill people with chemical weapons. I think those are forbidden, aren't they? Uh, this is a different time. Yeah, they get mad at you when you use that. Damn. Yeah, that was the exploding crossbow bolt. Release date on this is March 15th, 2019. Oh, so this so, isn't even, even going to be around until right, next year. Right, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling. That tonight's uh, going to be a good there's night? There's going to be a closed beta. Okay. I know that you can sign up for it on the website. Gotcha. And Yeah, they did that with the first one. And right? also that we might we might go out there to to play some of the stuff early and, okay. and possibly capture. So I wouldn't mind checking it out. Like, right, like I said, already I, I like the setting more. Instead of that cold New York, it's kind of a more open green Washington D.C. We would have to listen to Neeb's bitch about the cold again. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. Moving on to the next game, Skull and Bones, pirate game. Yeah, Arr. this looks fun. I saw the trailer for this. I was like, okay, I, I could see this being a blast. I had. Fun with uh, with Neebs. Yep, we were in two separate ships trying to. We tried to meet up somewhere on the map and fight together. How'd it go? Pretty good. I got sunk twice. Did you get sunk? I think I got sunk once. Yeah, I think you did I'm too. Because I'm a gamer. Well, no, I, I I'm also careless. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. We had the choice of three different ships, two brigantines to choose from. I didn't know the difference between them. I think Neebs and I both chose the frigate, the Royal Fortune. Yes, I think that's what I did. Yeah, yeah we we're some tanks out there. All right, so. Right here, I'm looking for a friend. I'm looking for Neebs. Looking for me. Yep. 
I'm out there And somewhere. I see him over there, and we're actually <laughs> able to link up and become friends. <laughs> I like that guy up top. Yeah, no, that's like, great. Ah. Yeah, you can switch to the crow's yeah. nest. He's super... He, it's like he's on cocaine. He's just back and forth. Where are they? Where's he at? Where's he at? Yeah, you hit a button, you just bounce up there. You hit another button, you bounce back to captain's seat. So in this yeah. game, you're yeah, you're not allowed off the ship, right? I no, mean, you're, you're no, just you're on so. the ship the entire time, and it's just what multiplayer. Do you do you fight against bots or is it nothing but? Um, there were players and bots. Players and bots. Players and bots. Okay, wonderful. So what's that? Level fifteen ship. And you can yep. tell what the ships are. You look at oh, them. Is it is it Portugal? Is it what else? Was yeah, there? you can like tell by the flags. Uh, so uh, Portugal, um, Britain. Other country, okay. Yeah, other country. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm getting uh, I'm getting some black flag flashbacks here. I think yeah, they they had, had so much been, positive yeah, feedback. That from had black to have been flag, an inspiration for I this. I loved black flag. Yeah, black flag was great. Now you can upgrade your crew. You can also upgrade your weapons, like and, cannons. Yeah, and you have a different captain per ship. Okay. So, I think we got a lady with us. So if you pick one ship, it's like, this is the ship I'm going to be. You just keep leveling up that ship. Yeah. And then eventually go, okay, I want a different type of class or different type of ship. I guess different ships have different skills and abilities, yeah. right? Okay. One of the cool things that you can do, you can actually find, like, shipwrecks of, like, a British ship or a Portuguese ship. Right okay. And oh boy, you can God. take their flag, and you can disguise yourself to pass by, like, forts or infiltrate convoys. Gotcha. So I think that's a that's a really cool feature. Neves, you're going to ram that guy, huh? Yeah. That's how yeah. I take it out. While I'm, while I'm shooting mortars at it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Look at that guy down there. Hey. Did What's you that see idiot that? doing? That guy's a genius. <laughs> yeah. I want to see this with the uh, four of us. Like the, a big old fleet just kicking That'd ass. That'd be great. Yeah. Like, um, I'm, I'm certainly interested to play this. Or even in a live stream where we get as many people as we can just sailing with yeah. us. Yeah, and, a big and, old fleet. Oh my god, yeah, an armada. <laughs> yeah, the fact like that that's the other downside with Sea of Thieves. Like you can't invite people into your server, which was mm -hmm. just insane. I mean you can have your crew, but past that you can't say, Hey, we're in this server. Come join our fleet. You see that thing in the bottom right corner? That's how you tell if you're catching the wind. Ah, okay. So the the blue highlight is that the direction of the wind? Okay. Yeah, if you had that blue arrow directly behind you, you're flying. Gotcha. So if that's you're, the, if you're going towards it, you're not moving. That's yep. the direction of the wind. So do you uh, do you control the sails at all? It's kind of automatic, wasn't it? Gotcha. It seemed to be. If you could control the sails, we didn't figure it out. There was like a trim button, but I think it's. I don't think you actually angle it. <laughs> Neves, are you helping over there? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> was that your ship? Yeah. Okay. I see you firing some cannons. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I definitely want to play this. All right. So that was Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. We're gonna Looks move really on to cool. The next game. Looks really cool. Thick. Uh, the next game is Trials Rising. Ooh, I didn't see this. Uh, I, I hopped into the conference late. Um, I watched the conference live, but I, I missed the Trials game. This was fun. Yeah, Thick and I giggled a lot through this one. Yeah, I've played some of the Trials games before, and they are uh, they are a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, already. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, if you love ragdolls, like, this, is, this is a fun game to play. Yeah, I can't wait to... Still, I uh, look at you. Still trying to swim. <laughs> yeah, he's like up in the air. Ah, oh, my spleen! One of the cool things that they did with making the maps, they brought in a lot of the really, really good players to help out with it. So really? they, they got the community involved. That's yeah. That's always a good thing. Yeah, I, I think more more companies should do things like that. Yeah, no. If uh, a game comes out and has a strong community, a lot of the times, uh, some of the stuff the community can make is can be a lot better than what the dev team can. Pretty sure I need it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now how does this work? You're both controlling the bike. <laughs> how does that work? It's as if you're driving a car and two people have a gas pedal and two right. brakes and two steering wheels. So is, is somebody controlling the <laughs> is somebody controlling the back wheel? And no, we're both controlling the whole bike. <laughs> <laughs> now that's... So if I wanted the bike to flip backwards, I could just hit that and then Thick could be fighting me going forwards. <laughs> All right, yeah, this looks fun. So, do, do you, uh, so like the smartest <laughs> thing would just would just to be to submit all control to one person. Well, why would you do that? <laughs> Unless I guess yeah, both of you kind of have to work together and like all right, lean forward, lean back. Yeah, I feel like it works better if you're both doing the same move. Yeah. Yeah, we started to get the hang of it. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that you in the back memes? Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, just there so we tickled go. that I could like Woo. hip thrust back there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, look at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Having a good time. Oh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> but then later on, if you're in the same room, you can have one guy just like yelling out commands like front flip, back flip. Yeah, that's right. what we started doing. You know, we might do a video on this. <laughs> yeah, no, I could see this. Uh, I could see this being. Fun. I see this more of a streaming game for us. Yeah, I think yeah, a video yeah, and definitely a stream. So hey, thanks so much to Ubisoft for bringing us out to E3 2018. Once again, we played The Division 2, which the release date on that is March 15th, 2019. Skull and Bones, which will be released sometime in 2019. And Trials Rising, which will be released in February of 2019. Looking forward to playing all those. <laughs>